Second favorite is the six horse. He's intriguing, only I know. Triple Crown nominated one for one. It was a romp. Somehow got off at eight to one, so I guess the barn didn't bet, or maybe the good word wasn't out. Uh, I don't like the horses that he beat, though. Not at all. And I'm not thrilled with a sub-60 buyer as relates to the 12 and a half length margin. Plus, I had it a bias track, a I did speed too. bias track. I had track. a pro speed bias big time. No question. Uh, this was a sharp buy, just 1200 bucks at auction. But he could get a reality check from this field. He's in with his elders. I'm not sure that a loose lead's in the offing here. We have had a couple of horses win off really quick works tonight that had likewise been away since late fall or early winter. And only I know does fit that bill. And the works backed that big performance up. Sub 47, February the 19th, and then the 34 and change. Although it would caution you, six horses. And I've never seen or heard of this at Mountaineer. Or any other track for that matter. Shaded 35 for three furlongs? Has that ever happened anywhere on Earth? Yeah, I guess it has. Uh, I'm being facetious, but not here. So what's your take on the six only I know? Well, I agree with you. I, I have it as a pro speed track, extreme pro speed track. So I have to see him duplicate that race or at least show a ton of speed to say that he can beat the five because on the five's best day, I think he's a better horse. First lifetime start at moment, this horse was second in a maiden special weight, strong response. Only I know, you know, I don't. I just don't think that was the toughest of fields, and I think it was a pro speed track that helped him. You know, some handicappers might say you can't blame the horse for who he beat because he sure did it in style. He did. Uh, but I'm going to look at it. And Shepard came back, I think, to lose by double units twice in a row. A chew again. Uh, boy, he's no great shakes either. We watched his action off the bench here a night or two ago. So the bar is much, much higher here. And the speed content is uh, just much more potent also to oppose. I know, owned order. by Flying G Racing and Deborah Rumbus. Andrew Ramjeet riding for trainer Deborah Rumbus. Win place, a trifecta perfecta, 50 cent superfecta, late double wagering, post time in one minute. Now field moving into line for the eighth race. Junkyard Eddie goes in. Peace at last, midnight shine. Now the last two will be strong response, making his local debut. And the Triple Crown nominated Only I Know. Five furlong allowance. And they're all set. They're off and racing. Off a little slowly was Only I Know. First out was Peace, uh, was uh, on the outside Peace at last. Now moving into second, Midnight Shine, and Only I Know is quickly moving up out three deep, and in behind them comes Strong Response outside Junkyard Eddie. They run to the turn, and Only I Know has gone from last to first. Now leads by a neck over Peace at last. Just steadied a bit in third was Midnight Shine. And moving up between runners then, Junkyard Eddie and Strong Responses four deep. Only I Know leads at the 5 16th pole. Here comes Strong Response on the outside. Ryder lost the irons there on Junkyard Eddie at the top of the stretch now. Only I Know the leader, still by a length. Strong Response is second, followed by Midnight Shine, then Peace at last, and Junkyard Eddie, they're into the stretch. It's Only I Know the leader, gets out by two and a half lengths. Midnight Shine is second, followed by Strong Response. Only I Know down to the 16th pole. Still by two lengths over Midnight Shine. And it's going to be Only I Know. Goes two for two. Wins by two lengths. Midnight Shine second. Two and a half away third. Strong response. And fourth was Peace at last. Please note a steward's inquiry. Running time for the five furlongs of 58.98 seconds. And the winner was number six, Only I Know, written by Andrew Ramjit. Second for Midnight Shine, Christian Polaris. And third was number five, Strong Response, Eddie Martin Jr. Numbers six, four and five. Fourth in was number three, Peace at Last.
Enough, sir. One and three quarters, two and a quarter. The winning margin was on three quarters with two and a quarter between second and third. The time, 58.98 seconds. Please note we have a rider's claim of foul, second against first, alleging interference at the three-eighths. In the winner's enclosure is only, I know, a three-year-old gelding by Flower Alley from the De Hair Mare, because you never know. Only, I know, is owned by Flying G Racing and Deborah Rhombus. He was ridden by Andrew Ramjeet for trainer Deborah Rhombus, and Only, I know, was bred in Kentucky by Three Chimneys Farm. Repeating a rider's claim of foul, second against first, alleging interference at the three-eighths. Both objections have been disallowed, the placing stand. Six, four, five and a three, no change. That result is official. Tow dividends, number six only I know. $6.20 to win and $3 even to place. Number four, Midnight Shine, three eighty to place. There was no show wagering. The Perfecta 6-4, $27 even. Trifecta 645, $32.80. And the Superfecta 6453, $55 even. Post time for the final race. Is 10.06. Scratch numbers 1, Wild Pegasus, and 9, Super Blue Diamond. Number 5, Quana Gold, will be written by Chris Fox. Win play show, Trifecta Perfecta, 50 Cent Superfecta, 50 Cent Super 5, post time in 17 minutes. 6.453 uh, stays official following uh, different objections against numbers 6 and 5. Those are both disallowed. I don't think good no calls on the part of the stewards. Uh, for the first thing, I don't think they have a good enough camera angle to tell just how much the winner, only I know, might have dropped down in a before midnight shine. And for another thing, I don't think either incident crossed the threshold of an outright foul. Um, aggressive riding on Ramjeet's part. He was aboard the winner, only I know, no question about it. And likewise, I think Ghost Ready Martin on strong response. He would give no quarter to Junkyard Eddie around that far turn, but uh, I don't think either man committed a foul there. And I think it should have been left official, which uh, indeed was the case. Six, four, five, three. The three-year-old, only I know, stays unblemished and overcomes the slowest start, which makes it kind of impressive. Sweet right now to be Deb Rhombus, because she's part owner on this horse with very little money invested. Only I know went for 1200 bucks at auction. So, boy, is that nice. A couple of conditions left. The horse triple crown nominated. Triple crown nominated couple of conditions left right here. He's got a lot of speed. Yeah, and he had to roll up there, you know. Uh, the five horse made his own, but he was simply sluggish. He is hooked wide there because he could not run anybody around that far turn. So he didn't show up with much of an effort. He obviously has deteriorated and or hates him some dirt. But the race was kind of a melee with the six coming away slow and the one sucking back abruptly on that far turn. And the four horse taken back as well. So Midnight Shine made a good race of it, considering. He really did. Because he, he did lose momentum around the turn, whether it was a bona fide foul or not.